How's it going? King of the Zeds here, and in this video I'm showing you how to build a horde base that turns the toughest zombies into absolute lemmings. Literally. And apart from it being heaps of fun watching them all leap off a cliff, it's as close to a guaranteed, totally AFK base on the max game stage horde as I've ever built. Now we are in Alpha 21, so it's current and working right now, and whether you use this design block for block, or just lift the general concept and build it into your own design, it's a fun way to spend a horde night. Now if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button. But for now, let's get on with the build. Alright, so most of this build is pretty straightforward, so I won't go into like the most amount of detail. I'll just get the main structure sort of laid out, and then I'll show you the bits that are important to remember and get right, because there's a couple of little bits and pieces which can, if you don't get it quite right, cause the whole thing to not work. So first off, I'm just making a five by five platform. And then on two sides of this, I'm gonna build up so that this is 20 blocks high. Let's fill the top of this in. So we've got basically a square platform at the top now. And at the bottom, just to prevent zombies going in between here, we're gonna add a few blocks high just to stop that. Okay, that should be plenty. Now, we're gonna have the zombies come up this side. So we're gonna have some ladders. Now the thing is, we're using ladders. Dogs are not gonna be able to use the ladders, so they're not gonna be able to take part in this base design, but we can counter for that when we get to it. But for now, let me just stick ladders up on four of these five blocks wide. We're gonna leave off the left hand side and just go the four to the right because I found in testing that when the zombies came up that left side they would uh, for some reason be bashing on some of the blocks at the top for a reason I couldn't quite figure out so just having the ladders on four of these five blocks seems to resolve that issue mostly. Now the reason for having four ladders going from bottom to top here is just because with so many zombies they'll all get bunched up too much and start getting a bit aggro on the blocks down the bottom so we're just giving them plenty of space to get up now we're going to have a platform over this side so that the way it's going to work the zombies are going to come up this way we need to funnel them to the side block say like this second one here so i'm going to have two blocks coming out this way and then on this edge here because I found they were bashing on these blocks as well when this was just uh, a regular square block we're gonna have a what's this just a regular ramp going that way and then we're going to have it the opposite rotation going this way to here so the idea is the zombies are going to come up and they're going to funnel this way and jump down to hit the uh, the block that we're going to place roughly halfway down this side here. Prior to Alpha 21, it, I was always using this pillar 0 0.025 meters middle, but there's an even thinner one now in Alpha 21, basically half the width. So we're using this, this pillar 0 0.0125 meters side centered and I've counted this and the maximum number of blocks that we can have between the top and then our first like little mini tightrope which this is going to be is 10 so including the top block hang on let me get the rotation so we're going to rotate it to be on the top like so so including this top block it needs to be one two three four five six seven eight nine 10. This is the furthest down that we can place this. If we have it one block lower, then the path between this block up here and this little block here is disconnected and so the zombies don't see this as a way to get to us. Now from here we're going to go, I mean you can go even higher here and then have 10 blocks in between each one of these little mini tight ropes, but I figured probably this maybe a little bit overkill. So I'm just gonna have another one, a random number of blocks down here, and then we're gonna have one, say three blocks off the ground here. And I'm gonna make this seven long. This is what I tested with, and I found that was just fine. So 
how many is that? One, two, three. I think that was four, wasn't it? Probably doesn't matter if it's six or seven. So let's go to here. And then this is where our fighting platform is going to uh, going to join up. So there. And we'll build the rest of this out in a minute. But first, let me just paint some of this so that we can actually see those blocks. So when the zombies are up here, they're going to come this way. They're going to try to jump to this block here. Now we can do that, but zombies are dumbasses and cannot most of the time. That's why we have kind of a couple of backups here. So in the rare occasion that they do land on here and manage to stand up, they're going to go sideways to this block and try to uh, jump on there and then they're going to have the same issue and then if they land on there okay they're going to have the same problem going to there and then you know maybe i don't know one in 20 30 40 something like that might actually make it on all of them and then they're going to come up this way and we're going to have a solution to sort those uh, those rare few out now what do they do if and when they get to this pole well we're just going to add a few more poles uh, a few more blocks here you can make this as big or as little as you want really it doesn't matter all right now we're just going to give them another ladder to go from here up to see us now at the top here let's just give ourselves a little um, little area to hide out in nothing to flash Get some bars going this way. And it depends if you want to completely hide or whether you want to actually chuck any uh, molotovs or anything like that at the zombies that are falling down. I'm going to leave a gap here just so that I can do the latter. However, if you wanted, you could just completely block this off and hide from the zombies uh, in here and you'll be protected from cop vomit. That's up to you, that bit. Um, for now, I'm going to leave it like this. And then we're going to bring out the sledge and he's going to go just here. And I found that even on a day 7000, like max game stage 720 horde, the rate at which the zombies were actually making it up this ladder was well within the limit of what little punchy can do here. So this is pretty much it, apart from the roof, which I'm going to fill in. Let's just take care of any birds by sticking some of these up here. I didn't actually get birds in my test hordes. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I ran it through a couple of full hordes and a few other um, partial hordes and didn't see any birds. Yeah, let's, let's bung a bunch of these spikes here and that should kind of take care of the dog situation. All right, that will probably be plenty. One final touch just so that we can see what on earth is going on. During the horde night, I'm gonna stick a few of these torches just down here okay now just double double checking my uh, my test version over there before recording the video I realized that I've actually got this second block in the wrong place so we'll put one there and one there so that's just overhanging by one block and then the zombies if all works correctly they should path this way just right to uh, try to drop down on here but they're gonna end up just absolutely flying off all that's left to do is now run this through the max game stage horde. So we're going to do that. I'll just skip forward time and we'll see you at 10 o'clock.
So as we can see, the Day 7000 or Max Game Stage 720 horde is absolutely no match for this lemming base. And this is quite an unconventional way to use these thin pole blocks to, uh, to control the flow of zombies to a fighting position. If you want to see a more conventional way to use these blocks, then check out this next video where I'm showing how I used a tightrope setup with these pole blocks to essentially create a melee only horde base fighting position for the Day 7 horde in Alpha 21.